All right, let's talk about adversity today and how it relates to your jiu-jitsu training. One thing I always tell the students is that adversity should never define you. What defines you is how you deal with it. On a very practical level, every day we deal with adversity on the mats. For some of us, adversity comes in the form of fatigue, you know, you're training, getting really tired. What defines you is not how tired you're getting, but how you react to the fatigue. Sometimes the adversity comes in forms of minor or major injuries, and those, you can't let those injuries define you. What you gotta do is you gotta react properly to the challenge the injury is presenting to you so you can take, a, take something positive out of it. Sometimes the adversity comes in forms of other things that are important in your life, they're sidetracking you from your training. So you can't train as much as you'd like to. And instead of letting that define you, okay, so you lose motivation, eventually you quit. What you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you manage things properly. Maybe you reduce the pace of your training a little bit, realign your expectations, but you always try to get something positive out of adversity. You see, the problem with uh, uh, most people that I've coached over the years in their jiu-jitsu journey is that in face of adversity, the first thing their mind sees is the negative side. Nobody likes to get tired. Nobody likes to get injured. Nobody likes to train less than what they should be training. Nobody likes to prepare for months and go to a tournament and lose. And of course, there's a feeling of frustration that comes when you're dealing with adversity, but if you're able to get your mind away from that feeling, step back and look into the opportunity that the adversity creates for you to grow, that's when you get the most out of these experiences. And another thing that I've noticed is, is that as we progress through the ranks, we go from white belt, white belt to blue belt, to purple belt, brown belt, and black belt. Jiu-Jitsu is so amazing, guys, that it teaches you how to avoid adversities, right? So it teaches you how to get from point A to point B in a more efficient way, so you have to spend less energy. So in a certain way, it's dangerous because what it's gonna do is, it's gonna make you deal less with adversities. It's gonna, as you progress the ranks, as you become good at Jiu-Jitsu, you're gonna be playing more from the inside of your comfort zone. And if you're not dealing with adversities, if you're not experiencing the frustration that adversities bring to you, what that's gonna do, it's gonna lead you to stagnation. And to be honest, my friends, as a teacher, we admire much more those students that have the fire for the fight, that want to stay challenged, even if they're blue belts, than if they are well-accomplished world champions, purple belts, brown belts, black belts, but they are now hiding inside their amazing jiu-jitsu that they have created for themselves. So the bottom line, my friends, is doesn't matter how good you are in jiu-jitsu or it doesn't matter how much you still need to learn. Whenever you deal with an adversity, try to face it, deal with it, and use it as an opportunity for you to grow and learn. And if you are already a high-ranked student that you have developed a great jiu-jitsu game, try not to hide yourself behind the great skills that you have already developed and put yourself to test every day. You know, the day that you come to the school, you no longer have the fire to learn. You don't ha no longer have that indomitable spirit to keep trying to get better every day. That's the day that jiu-jitsu is no longer gonna do anything for you. Think about that.